Hi all, Once and Future Gamer here and welcome back to this playthrough of Dino Crisis 2. This is episode 5, so last time we were playing as Regina, we shot a bunch of dinosaurs with a machine gun. We also went underwater, that was episode 4 in a nutshell. Preventative maintenance. As always, we'll conduct the preventative maintenance by assigning labour tasks. Bob will be in charge of the third energy reactor itself. Alec will be in charge of checking the water circulation system. As in previous years, for the safety of the mechanics during maintenance work, make sure to close the shutters for the cooling aqueducts. Alec will unplug the plug, which allows control of the shutter, and keep it until Bob is done checking the reactor. The other day there was an explosion in the water circulation chamber. This explosion caused a crack in one of the concrete columns. One more explosion will probably have destroyed it. Remember to repair that as well. So that's a bit of a clue there because... It's a control terminal for the operator of the aqueduct shutters which lead to the third engine generator. Will you operate it? To operate the shutter you need the shutter control plug. Okay. Underwater transport passageway of one. It's not got much stopping power, this weapon. resume power so because we only killed four of them we don't get a uh, no damage bonus I probably need to heal to be honest because I'm taking a bit of a battering all over the place here from these. We'll 
I'll take the med, med pack out. If I'd, have gone, if I'd have overshot that, I wouldn't have been impressed. A big crack in that uh, pillar there. A section of the column has cracked, making it weak. With a weapon with a little firepower, you'll probably be able to destroy it. Yeah, I've got my aqua raid. Bad points wise out there. There's a power terminal for the small elevator used for construction. I think that constructs. Yeah, we'll turn it on, we'll see where it does. I think construction was spelt wrong on that as well. I only saw it fleetingly, but you know, who gives a rad sus. Back through here, then, because I think this is where we were earlier. I only killed one, but it was enough. So we've got like a little, uh, we've got like a little aqua jet like that, but it don't really do much. It don't really do much. Let's plug it in. Will you operate it? I will. There we go. 
machine cooling aqueducts, the shutters are open. There is a sign which prohibits entry. Temporarily, the area is closed due to the maintenance check of the third energy reactor. So we need to go back in here then. The only other way we can go, I think. There's a control terminal for the water near the third energy reactor. It seems to be working normally, there is no need to operate it. This must do something here. You operate the elevator. Unless that's just another route to the top. It's possible. It is. Sort of mind you, I'm shooting at it with needles. <laughs> well, I don't expect it to have stopping power. Very creepy. Over here. Don't look like it. Inside cooling aqueduct. Yeah, I think this is the way we're going. This is a good sign, right? I feel like I need to drop a save because I feel like there's something up ahead. We operate the elevator. Let's ride!
you've got the city key card. The pipe of the oxygen supply has been chewed or cut off from the back of his diving suit. We've got what we came here for. We have found a new dino file. Plesiosaurus. Meaning, near lizard. Length, 17 metres. Height, 3 metres. Observation records. Our lifeline, the third energy reactor, is located in the lake underwater. Half of the mechanics who go for preventative maintenance never come back. They probably became bait for that giant thing. They are carnivorous reptiles. With their long neck, they surface the head to breathe. It has been reported that they have been seen attacking the pteranodons from the water with their long agile necks. When attacked by them, aim for the head. They'll try to use their prey and pull their prey into the water using their long necks. When you are attacked, the best thing to do is to fire back at them. When you encounter them in the water, unfortunately the only thing that will really hurt them is explosive artillery. You also have to be careful of the strong water current that they produce when they swim. It may be wise to avoid fighting them in the water. Guess what we've got to do next, folks? Yes, third engine reactor. I remember this bit. We're trapped in here with that thing. small one. What the hell was that? Now 
out we go. Let's be done with this water section. It's an elevator power panel. Will you operate the panel? Yeah. As always throughout, if you do enjoy what you see, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, click on that comment button. Let's go to the surface. Down in the description of the video, there's links to all my YouTube playlists, there's links to my Twitter, at once and G. There's links to my Discord, at once and future game as well. We're back here. Welcome back. How's the water? Uh, I don't recommend the diving in this resort. Hey, this is David. Is anyone there? Answer me, over! I knew you were alive. Yo, Dylan! I found survivors here! Really? We're about to give up. Where are you? David! David! <laughs> Edward City. That's not far from here. Let's go! That's what we got the key card for. Regina used the city's key card and released the lock. Must hurry to Edward City. And we've got Dylan. I'm just going to head into the boat for a moment because I want to see if there's any new weapons available. Got the solid cannon still. New weapon. That's what we want the anti tank rifle. I think we need more points, but we do. I think we do need that chain mine going forward. But this gun. Well, you can sort of tell from this gun that it's what's what you're going to get from it. It's called anti-tank rifle. It can punch through a frigging tank. It looks like um, it looks like something from Metal Gear Solid, doesn't it? it looks like the. Uh, Railgun Fortuna we're using. Or whatever her name was. In M MGS2. Sons of Liberty. City front, Hall Road. What's this do? Container and main materials yard. Done that without getting uh, without getting hurt if he had to jump on me.
Can I buy any more? No, not yet. Ooh, I might have to save up and get that as well, because that reduces your da the damage that you take. I'm going to drop a save. I'm not stopping just quite yet, but... Not be too long. I thought this looks familiar in that uh, with something like that in there, the big aloe. Found a new dino file in in Ostransevia. Length 3.7 meters, height 1.2 meters. Observation records: the cave route which leads to the city passes through a volcano. Two years ago, the volcano suddenly started acting up. From about that same time, the four-legged creature began appearing. It seemed to favor hot and dark places. We believe that these four-legged creatures were herbivores, due to the scarcity of living organized. Or organisms in their habitat but when one of our men was attacked by one of them we learned that they were actually omnivores although they are slow we have to find ways to counter them combat record we still have to find yet to find a way to fight them it's their ultra hard arm which way which they wear that makes them so tough no regular firearm will hurt them their jaws are very strong strong enough to even crush a helmet the only effective way we know so far is when they attack, they stand on their hind legs. That is when you should shoot their stomach. It seems to be their weak point. Currently, a prototype weapon is in the late stages of development. This mine-like weapon, when complete, should flip them on their backs, but we don't know for sure if it will really work. Am I going to have choice for the rest of the game? Lakeside? A motorboat has been deserted. The bottom of the boat has been severely dented. Could it be that it was attacked by something in the lake? Look, this is David's mark. That's very cautious of him. That's how you survive. Let's look for another mark. Okay, let's split up then. No damage bonus. Nuts. Close. Cave one. Uh, 
There is a rock blocking the path. It's different from other rocks. It's a calcareous rock. You can destroy this with the chain mine. That's what we needed. Lava looks good. Up we go. Cave two. Strand Sevilla. in danger of running out of ammo here.
That was annoying. I could really use a thing. A little terminal. me. Here we go. Command station in a compound. Launcher, we're not taking that. For the... I don't think we actually need that again, to be honest. So. We're going to save it and call it a session. This was intense. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. That way you get a little insight into the world as it is, as I keep on doing it. So, until that next time I do start playing this again, this has been Dino Crisis 2. This has been Once a Future Gamer. I'll see you next time. Take care now. Have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.